Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about the tragic transformation of the elusive Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner, the woman, the myth, the legend. Obviously, this video is based on my own assumptions. It is not fact. And that is because Kylie has actually never come out and explicitly said what she has done to her appearance, but a transformation she has had. Looking at pictures of Kylie from her early teens to her late teens or even early 20s, if you didn't know who she was, you would be forgiven for thinking that she was a totally different person. Her entire face and body have changed dramatically. I know I'm gonna have the Kylie fans all up in my grill out of my face, out of my face, in the comments telling me that it was simply puberty that changed Kylie's face and body. And to an extent, yes, you're right, obviously puberty will change the way you look, but guys, not to that extent. So where do we start with Kylie Jenner? The beginning will do, I guess. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born on the 10th of August, which also happens to be my birthday, 1997 to Kris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner. Kylie is a sister of Kendall Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Brody Jenner, Brandon Jenner, Burt Jenner, and Cassandra Marino. That's a lot of siblings. As you can see with the young Kylie, she looked very similar to her sister, Kendall, with the big brown eyes, the slightly hooded lids, the freckles, and the cute toothy grins. And as she burst onto our TV screens at the tender age of nine on the E! television show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she looked basically the same, which is to be expected. However, at around the age of 17, that all began to change, and Kylie started to undergo a very strange and dramatic image overhaul. As we can see in these teenage pictures, Kylie was gorgeous. Beautiful brown eyes, cheeky grin, lovely heart-shaped face. In fact, young Kylie looked very similar to her paternal grandmother, Ezra Jenner, who is Caitlyn Jenner's mother. I personally love that the Jenner genes are so strong in Kylie because I'm fascinated by ancestry and genetics. I just think it's so awesome. Kylie's original eye shape was also very similar to her father Caitlyn's when she was young. However, fast forward just a few short years and Kylie Jenner no longer looks anything like as the Jenner. In fact, she doesn't look much like the Jenners at all anymore, but instead seems to have morphed into a younger version of her sister, Kim Kardashian, who she had previously not really resembled at all. A very peculiar way for genetics to behave. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Kylie's Lips. Kylie has always heavily denied tweaking her appearance in any way, shape, or form. She admits to nothing. Nada. Zilch. Her entire face and body just naturally morphed into someone completely different, which would be highly unusual, but hey, <laughs> stranger things have happened. The problem with influencers and celebrities denying the very obvious tweakments that they have made to their appearance is that it can lead their younger fans to compare their looks negatively to said celebrity or influencer and wonder why they haven't had such a flattering transformation naturally or why puberty hasn't been so bloody kind to them. Or in the case of Kylie, it can lead to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of young people taking matters into their own hands and ending up permanently disfiguring themselves. Anyone remember by the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? I do. <laughs> it involved sucking really, really hard on a lid or something like that until your lips were so swollen that they tripled in size or in some cases exploded and caused permanent damage. It also led to cunning brands bringing out expensive versions of lids that claimed to give you Kylie lips. And of course, people gobbled them up. This is why, in my opinion, although I do think that influencers and celebrities have a right to privacy, I mean, they're human beings and they don't really have to be honest about anything that they don't feel comfortable being honest about, but I do actually think that they have somewhat of a responsibility to their younger audience about the work that they have had done, especially when it's someone like Kylie Jenner, whose fan base is made up of primarily impressionable young kids and teenagers. So after years of claiming that her hugely inflated lips were simply a product of overlining with lip liner, Kylie eventually came clean in 2015 and admitted to getting lip filler at the tender age of 17. But that's it, she says, nothing else, <laughs> no other tweakments, just lip filler. Well, my personal conspiracy theory is that I don't believe it. <laughs> if you take an older photo of Kylie and simply plump up her lips, AKA virtual lip fillers, she has big lips now, but she certainly doesn't look anything like current day Kylie. So I don't buy that she's only plumped her lips. Not to mention when she apparently removed all her lip filler, which she claims to have done back in 2018, she still looks nothing like the original Kylie. So in my non-expert opinion, I do believe that Kylie has quite obviously had copious amounts of lip filler injected into her lips, but I also 
think that she has had what's known as a lip lift. A lip lift is where a surgeon will cut a bit of skin between your top lip and your nose and then raise up the height of your top lip and sew you back together. This way, your top lip sits a lot higher and large amounts of filler won't sag your lip downwards because large amounts of filler are quite heavy. And if you get too many of them, you end up with that duck bill pout where your lips kind of sag downwards. This is not the case with Kylie Jenner's lips. Another telltale sign of a lip lift is being able to see what should be the inside of the top lip on the outside, which again, you can see with Kylie Jenner's lips. Now, again, in my non-expert conspiracy theorist opinion, I don't believe that lip fillers are the only tweakment that Kylie Jenner has had done. In fact, I'm really interested, guys. Please tell me in the comments, do you believe that lip filler is the only tweakment that Kylie has changed to her entire appearance? I'm talking face and body. Or do you, like me, suspect that she has undergone a huge transformation involving many, many tweakments. Now, along with a lip lift and lip filler, I also personally think that Kylie Jenner may have had her hairline raised, which seems an odd thing to do. But if you look at old pictures of Kylie, you can see that she had quite a small forehead. I pronounce it forehead and I'm going to continue to do so in this video, but what I mean is forehead. <laughs> it just sounds wrong saying it in my accent. So as you can see in these old pictures of Kylie, she did have quite a small forehead due to her hairline being quite low down. I think she may have also inherited this hairline from her grandmother, Ezra Jenner, because they do look so similar. Compare these pictures of Kylie's hairline and forehead size to more recent pictures and you can see that her hairline is way higher now and as such her forehead is also higher. Raising your forehead actually isn't that difficult. All you really have to do is get laser hair removal to the front of your hairline and over time the laser will damage the hair follicle and your hair will no longer grow back and voila you have a raised hairline and a higher forehead. Now looking at Kylie's before and after pictures I also believe that Kylie has had a nose job. Not an obvious change like a lot of celebrities and influencers have had, but a very subtle rhinoplasty. As you can see in these older pictures, her original nose was very similar to her sister Kendall's nose. It's a small nose, but with a slightly thicker bridge and slightly bulbous tip. If you've watched my video on noses, you'll know that this is a very common nose shape for people of European ancestry to have. It is not a flaw. Compare these pictures to recent pictures of Kylie, and you guys might be able to see that although it is very subtle, it does appear that Kylie's nose tip has been delicately refined. Her nose still looks pretty much the same, but the tip is less bulbous. Then we have the chin, the biggest mystery on Kylie's face in my opinion. Kylie's original face shape used to feature a very angular chin. Her lips were quite high on her face and she had a really strong jawline. Now she does not. <laughs> now her lips appear to sit much lower on her face and I think that's because she may have either had quite extensive dental work to soften her jawline or more likely she had her jaw and chin shaved down. Yes, as brutal as that sounds, it is a thing and considering how image obsessed the Kardashian Jenner clan are, it wouldn't surprise me. Or she may have had filler in the chin to soften the angles and make her face appear longer. Or she may have had all three. Of course, Kylie denies tweaking her jaw saying, you really think Kris Jenner would let 16 year old me have cheek and jaw reconstructive surgery? No. Well, she did allow 17 year old Kylie Jenner to inject copious amounts of lip filler into her lips. So Kylie says that her jawline looks smaller now because she has fat ass lips. And while yes, her lip filler has made her lips sit lower and higher, that does not increase the width of your mouth. There is still a huge discrepancy in her jawline where even plumped lips wouldn't touch. Can you guys see what I mean? Moving on to eyes. Kylie's eye shape also seems to have changed. We can leave no stone unturned here. She used to have slightly hooded eyes and so did Kendall actually, and now neither of them do, which is interesting. Now look, to be fair, your eyelids can change throughout your life depending on certain things like body fat, the aging process, how much sodium is in your diet, how much water you drink. But in the case of Kylie, I would hypothesize that she has in fact undergone both a brow lift and an eye lift. Her brows sit a lot higher now than they did when she was younger. When she was younger, similar to Kendall, they both had quite a heavy brow. Neither of them no longer do. This also has the knock-on effect of opening up the eyelids and helping to remove the appearance of hooded lids. Not to mention her eye shape is now cat-like, raising up on the outer corners instead of downwards like before, which makes me think she has undergone the foxy eye lift. This is where a surgeon will put a little cut in the temple or near the hairline, raise the skin up and then sew it back together. Or you can do what's known as a thread lift where it's basically the same thing, but a thread is inserted under your skin and then like tightened and it pulls your eyelids up like 
like that. Then there is Kylie's ever-changing body. Honestly, a lot of it is probably down to Photoshop. I would be extremely surprised if someone of Kylie's caliber didn't have an entire team dedicated to just simply editing her Instagram pictures because her Instagram, let's be real, she has what, 350 million followers on Instagram? Her Instagram pictures are like a gold mine. So you best believe she takes them seriously and she makes them perfect. I would eat my desk if she didn't have a team of people editing these Instagram pictures for her. Now, when you look at these older pictures of Kylie, you can see that again, her body shape was quite similar to her sister Kendall's as well. They were both long and lean. However, in my armchair psychologist's analogy, it is my personal opinion that Kylie, having grown up behind the camera and seen the rise of her super successful, beautiful older sisters, felt the need to kind of emulate them. Whether it was to get attention, to gain love from her family, because as we know, Mama Jenna seems to favor whichever sibling is doing the best financially at that present moment, whether it was to gain adoration from fans or just to appease her own low self-confidence. My theory is, is that over the years, Kylie has tried to morph both her face and her body into a similar version of Kim. Because as you guys can see in these pictures, Kylie's body has changed dramatically. Whereas before her body was more similar to her sister Kendall's, now it more resembles Kim's. Now I know I'm gonna have people in the comments saying, she was a teen in the first images, now she's an adult. Kim is her sister, of course she looks like her. But the thing is, Kim's voluptuous body is often attributed to her Armenian heritage, a heritage which Kylie does not share. Kylie is not Armenian, and Kylie is Kim's half-sister. They are related by their mother, Chris. Chris is not Armenian. Chris's heritage is English, Irish, Dutch, German and Scottish. Kylie's father, Caitlin, is of English, Scottish, Irish, Dutch, and Welsh descent. So this is Kylie's body shape back in 2013. However, just three short years later, this was Kylie's body shape. There's a pretty huge difference there. Yes, I know, puberty can change a lot. However, Kylie was 16 in these photos and generally speaking, not always, but usually, females will have finished puberty by the age of 16 and their bodies won't change much after that, but gaining or losing weight or getting pregnant. So for Kylie's body shape to go through such a huge transformation in three short years is a bit unusual at that age. It's also unusual that the areas that were changed were her boobs, butt and thighs. All areas that her sister Kim was famed for being curvy in. Areas that Kylie wasn't naturally curvy in. And that is why it is my personal opinion that Kylie over time has slowly morphed herself into another version of Kim in order to emulate this older sister that she looks up to and that she sees as so successful and beautiful, everything she wanted to be. Now, there are rumors that Kylie has undergone what's known as BBL, which I quite believe because it would explain the huge transformation of her body shape. A BBL is an awfully invasive procedure where a surgeon will suck the fat out of less desirable areas like your belly and your back and then re-inject it into more socially acceptable areas to be curvy, such as your hips and bum. A BBL may seem appealing, I know, but don't do it. I definitely wouldn't encourage it. It is the most most dangerous plastic surgery on the planet and loads of women have died doing it. Is having a Kardashian-esque body really worth your life? What makes it even more likely that Kylie did indeed undergo rather extensive surgery in order to achieve her Kardashian-esque body is that although she's gained curves in all the right areas, she doesn't actually appear to have gained weight anywhere else. In fact, she goes to great lengths to always show that she has a flat belly in all pictures taken of her. Now, obviously, despite having the same birthday, I am not Kylie. I have no proof that she has or hasn't undergone any of these tweakments. But this is a Kardashian Jenna we're talking about, and so of course that is not all that Kylie is suspected of doing to altering her body. She is also rumored to have undergone a chest coconut augmentation, which also seems like it could be true when you look at before and after pictures. Now, of course, Kylie also denies having had a chest coconut enlargement, saying, I've thought about it, and I think, why ruin it? I have really good chest coconuts naturally. They're like a cute little size. I'm not against it, but right now it's a no from me. But Kylie, my friend, these are not little. They seem to be the same size as Kim's nowadays and Kim is famed for her voluptuous figure and big chest coconuts. So I'll let you guys figure that one out. <sighs> That is a lot of tweakments to both face and body. And let's not forget that Kylie is still really young. I think she's only 24. It just seems really tragic to me that someone as naturally gorgeous and privileged as Kylie Jenner would feel so low because you do have to feel a certain low self-confidence to want to transform yourself that much. The fact that she would feel the need to undergo such extensive surgery and let's 
be real here, surgery is expensive and extremely uncomfortable and dangerous in order to change her natural appearance into something totally different. Now, obviously people can do whatever they want with their own face and body. It is yours, do what you want with it. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't change something about yourself if you want to. That goes for nose jobs, tattoos, piercing, hair dye, clothes, etc. But like I said, I do think that people with a young audience, people in positions of power who have huge influence over said young audience should be upfront about work they have had done to their appearance. So I will leave this video here, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think Kylie has or hasn't had done? Do you think her transformation is positive or like me, do you think it's kind of sad? Bye.